Aquatic invasive species are non-native plants and animals that threaten native plants, wildlife, and their habitat. They also affect humans by degrading boating and fishing areas and reducing lakeshore property values and tourism. Due to the lack of natural predators and high reproductive ability, invasive species can quickly become widespread. Once established, eradication is almost impossible. Lake George is currently known to have five aquatic invasive species, Eurasian water milfoil, curly leaf pondweed, zebra mussels, Asian clam, and spiny water flea. Surrounding waterways have many more invasives, and there are always new species to be on the lookout for. You can help prevent the introduction of new invasive species into Lake George and other local waterways by making sure you clean, drain, and dry all boating, fishing, and other recreational equipment. Before you leave the launch, remove all visible plants, animals, fish, and mud from your boat, trailer, or other equipment. Check the propeller, anchor, ropes, hitches, rollers, and axles. Mud stuck on an anchor can transport invasives such as the Asian clam. Plants such as Eurasian water milfoil often get stuck on the prop, in between the boat and the trailer, and on the trailer license plate holder. Dispose of anything you find in a suitable trash container or on dry land. Remember, don't transport any potential hitchhiker, even back to your home. Remove and leave them at the site you visited. For personal watercrafts, clean the intake grate and steering nozzle. Run the engine five to 10 seconds to blow out excess water and vegetation from the internal drive, and then turn off the engine. Next, drain water from the boat, bilge, bladder tanks, live well, and bait containers. Not all aquatic invasive species are visible. Invasive viruses, zooplankton, and recently hatched zebra mussels and Asian clams can be transported in just a tiny drop of water. Finally, dry your boat, trailer, and all equipment completely before launching again. Drying times vary depending on the weather and the type of material. At least five days of drying time is generally recommended during the summer. If you want to use your boat sooner, you will need to follow additional steps to make sure it is decontaminated from any hitchhikers. For more detailed decontamination procedures, visit protectlakegeorge.com.